at Google, like a lot of people are smart. Most people are nothing special, but there was one guy on my team. He was the tech lead on the team. He would work probably like 35, 40 hours a week, but probably closer to 35 a week. He would come in same exact time every day. He would leave at like four o'clock every single day. And I never saw that guy on his phone. Like when he's at work, he was like intense. He was like working. He was focused the entire time. If you had a question, he would be the first person to help you. He'd be the first person to volunteer his time. Anytime you scheduled a meeting with him, he was 100% there. That guy was on another level. And it wasn't because he was smarter. It was just because he was super disciplined. Yeah, I think like when most people think of like what a Google engineer is like, most Google engineers aren't anything special with that guy. I think that's what like most people imagine when they think of what a Google engineer is. Like that guy was, he was like the most productive person on the team. He was the smartest person on the team and he worked like 35 hours a week. He was insane. How old was he? He was not much older than me. He had been working at Google for like five years. He got promoted very quickly. He got to senior engineer after like three years and he's probably going to be principal pretty soon. He was insane. Did he enjoy work? 100% he enjoyed it. But he enjoyed it because he wasn't like killing himself. He wasn't working 60 hours a week. He was working like 35 hours a week. And if you're doing something that much, it's easier to enjoy it. There was a guy I knew at Meta like that, except he also put in 60 hours a week. He's L8 now. Yeah, it's true. Like you have two people like very, very good. Somebody's working 60 hours. Somebody's working 40 hours. Of course, the extra time is going to pay off over a long period of time. How much does L8 at Meta make? Probably a lot. That's how much somebody at Meta makes at L8 on average, I guess. And pr probably the stock price fluctuations will matter a lot.